Hi everyone and welcome to this edition of Comet Conversation and today's program is focused on the Math Mania program that our students at NORD participated in uh, within the last couple of weeks and we are joined on today's program by two of our teachers uh, Amy Jackson and Diana Beatler and four of our uh, students here at NORD Middle School and uh, Mrs. Jackson uh, would you want to start by maybe introducing uh, your two students? Sure uh, this is Daniel Dudziak and Cindy Huynh. And Mrs. Beatler, do you want to introduce your students? Sure. I have Brandon Vasquez with me and Aurora Wilson back here. Okay. And, and it's my understanding, and first of all, thank you so much for being here. Uh, this is a fabulous accomplishment. And from what I understand, uh, our students did very, very well uh, in terms of the final standings. Uh, Mrs. Jackson, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Sure. We have uh, second place winner, Daniel Dudziak for sixth grade. And Cindy Huynh brought home the first place trophy this year for sixth grade. And Mrs. Beatler? Okay, I have uh, Brandon Vasquez. He got second place for fifth grade. And then Aurora Wilson got, uh, she was in the semifinals. We had 11 out of 16 Amherst students. Well, there were 11 Amherst students out of 16 students total that were in the Sweet 16, and she was one of them. So she got a medal. Anybody who was, all 11 of the kids got medals. They got medals, and did you get a trophy? Yeah, they each got trophies too. It, so it was really, and I think it was, we took seven of the top eight uh, places as well. Is that correct? Yes, see that seven yes we did. Yeah, three fifth grade, four sixth grade. So it was almost like a clean sweep for Amherst. And, and I know having the opportunity to be there, it was really a lot of fun to watch. Uh, Mrs. Jackson, do you want to just share a little bit about the Math Mania competition and, and how it works? Sure. Uh, Math Mania is a countywide competition that focuses on the game of 24. Uh, we compete against area schools like Avon Lake, North Ridgeville, Columbia, and Clearview. And uh, we all play the game of 24. It's a very fast paced game. The students are very quick at it. Um, and it's all about speed, uh, knowing your facts in this game. Was it or was it 30 minus 6 equals 24. 12, 24 divided by 12 equals 2. 15 times 2 is 30. 30 minus 6 equals 24. And what was really uh, kind of neat is not only did we have Nord students participating in the competition, but we also had, as I understand it, some of our students at Steele actually served as proctors, I think. Uh, Mrs. Beatler, could you talk a little bit about that? Right. I um, invited former students who had played 24 uh, to come and proctor because they played. They know how fast it is. They know how good you have to be at math. And they know the rules for flagging out and all of that. So I invited them to come and proctor. And then there were other students who were just good students who wanted to participate too. So we trained them and they came to the competition and proctor too. And we even got Mrs. Schneider, <laughs> a retired teacher, to come and proctor. And she loved it. it was yeah, I could tell. I was there that day and I could tell Mrs. Schneider was having a lot of fun, <laughs> as, as was everybody else. But I just wanted to kind of take a second, if we could, uh, to ask each of our students, uh, maybe if you could share uh, how you went about preparing for the competition and what you enjoyed most about the competition. Every single day, like at lunch a week before, like the actual competition, we practiced like every single lunch and then we just got better at it and then we did good. Okay. Great. I practiced at home with my brother a lot and I beat him multiple times. <laughs> okay. Um, we did after school practices in Mrs. Beatler's room where we would like play against each other and then at lunch we practiced too. Okay. Um, I practice all the time with my friends and like Aurora said, we went to after school practices with Mrs. Beatler. Okay, great. And, and so what was uh, the best part of the entire competition? Mine was getting second and yeah. <laughs> okay. Being able to show people that girls can do better. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I, I just liked being there. It was really fun. Um, I loved getting to the finals. I was really nervous, though, so it was very fun. Well, uh, just a tremendous, tremendous accomplishment. Obviously, our students have done a wonderful job. You know, thank you to our teachers who obviously uh, provide that day-to-day -day math instruction. And the best thing about this, as a former math teacher, it just is such a cool thing uh, to see students and teachers having fun with math. And uh, I think that's what this competition was all about. And again, I just want to say thank you and uh, keep up the good work and keep us posted on how things are moving for the rest of the year. How's that sound? 
Thanks again, and uh, in closing, would like to thank you, our viewing audience, as always, for your support of the Amher Schools, for your support of our math uh, program, as well as all of our uh, academic and extracurricular uh, programs. Uh, thank you again. If you ever have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to give me a call to board office. Thank you, and go Comets.